This video is sponsored by Guapku. If you're looking for a reliable modded GTA account for PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then this is the place to go. Their link is in the description below. Get off your presser and do something. Why is he just sat on that? What are you doing with that? That's not helping, you're just making him eat one of shit. Look at that. Look at that. Right. PS2's coming out because the cops. So I can stun him and feed it longer. He's a one shot pretty much regardless of everything. And he can just fuck himself anyway. He's a little creeper, so who gives a shit? <laughs> who cares? Now I'm gonna play fairly against someone who's griefing noobs. How is it fair to be griefing noobs? Going around locking on and then blowing them up? That's not fair. So why would I play fair on him? He can fuck himself. Cloud like by the team on. Is this guy gonna try and kill me here? I think so. Fucking good. He's in that, so he's nice and safe. Another one who has no balls, so they have to sit in something that they feel safe in. That's sweet, isn't it? Because you know that thing is like invincible. You basically can't blow it up, and the windscreen is like bulletproof. So it's basically not far off being in god mode when you're in there. Well, it's so funny. You see people like that all the time. They just have to feel safe. They just have to feel as safe as they possibly can. So they'll go back in a night shark all the time and stuff like that where they can't be killed. It's so pathetic. Just why can't I? Ne I've never done that. When have I ever done that? Like why do you have to just sit and feel so safe like that? They're just so scared to be out in the in the game. They just know that they are prey and they're gonna get fucked up. Cause look at his little nibby little face. He's not like he's good. He obviously gets clapped by people all the time. That's why he just sits in that so he's safe and that he can 
sort of survive in the game, you know, right? Who wants to just be getting killed all the time, you know? But there's like basically no way to get him out of that, is there? I mean, you can shoot him from the side, but that's pretty lucky if you're able to... Because he knows that, so he's not going to let that happen, really. Yeah, see? He's just a little pussy and he has no balls at all. Can... He knows that I'll fuck him up, so he just has to sit hiding in there. It's fucking pathetic. It's really sad. Really sad. So what am I the man to do? Let's call him a coward. I mean, he is. I mean, that, that is the most cowardly thing you can be. That's basically like God mode griefing. That, I, I consider that essentially the same as, as somebody griefing in with a God mode van. You've got just as little of a chance of killing them. In fact, you can shoot people out of the God mode van a lot easier than, with, than out of that, because you can shoot them out through the windscreen in that. When they're in the God mode van, you can shoot, the windscreen can break. It's bulletproof at the start, but after a while it gets shot out and then you can shoot them easily out of it. With this, you can't even- the windscreen is bulletproof. How are you meant to fucking kill him? <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's like no way to kill him, unless you're lucky enough to get to the position where you're like beside him. It's just not really gonna happen. But the minute he's out there, he would just leave. He's like, that's his- he's exactly that type. Oh my days, I got him with that. Ah, oh, fuck off, kid. What's the point in this? Fuck off. Look at this little yellow dickhead. See, what's his problem? Why is he... Fucking idiot. This kid has issues, but... What the fuck is wrong with him? Like? What is seriously wrong with him? Why is he just raging away at me like that? This is stupid as fuck. I'm just trying to get that kid. Not that I'd be able to. I mean... It can survive about a million fucking rockets, so I don't think there's much of that guy can really do. I ain't gonna be able to kill him. I mean, that's by design, that's literally why he's in it. It's so, cause, it's so that he won't get killed. That's literally why he's hiding in it like a little pussy. Because he knows that out of that he'll just get fucked up by, like, anyone. He knows that he can't do anything. I mean, he's clearly shit. I've experienced so many terrible, terrible players. And you know he's fucking one of them. You know he's not good at all. Where is this little puss? Man, see now he's just hiding in here. He's just a complete and total pussy. He is just genuinely one of those players that is just no balls at all. And they know that they're just going to keep getting fucked up. So they just hide in there because they don't want it. That's all it is. He's got his other oppressor now. Angry little moron. Look at this sp what is honestly wrong with him? He's so dumb. This is stupid. Why am I doing this? This is so pointless. They just don't want to get fucked up. They just want to be able to kill people without getting clapped themselves. Because literally, whenever they're out of that thing, they just get fucked up by anyone they go at. Anybody they attack or try and fight or anything, they just get absolutely destroyed. Clearly, look at him. He is just prey. Ah, uh, this fucking kid. Oh my days. This kid is so butthurt. This yellow kid. He's just raging his nut off at me for zero reason. Another one, he just gets, he's just having a tantrum for nothing. Right, ghost is going on. I'm just trying to get that kid, but I really don't see why. Why am I even doing that? There really is no point at all, is there? Because he is clearly just a pussy, and he's not gonna... He's just gonna keep hiding, isn't he? He's obviously not gonna stop doing this. It's just obviously what he does. He knows that I'm gonna fuck him up. The minute we're fighting, he knows he's screwed. Watch him return it to storage and then request it again. Oh, off the map, yeah. Elo, yeah, he's just a piss. He just knows that he's shit at the game, because everyone he tries to fight ruins him. That's all it is. Ha! Idiot. He's shit, see? Look at his wee nibby face. He's just a noob and he just gets fucked up all the time. That's all it is. Right, well, I'm up on you, mate, so you can suck on that. 2 1, cry. Serves him right. What a piss. But I mean, it was inevitable. He's always gonna get fucked up. He is prey. I mean, anyone who's. I mean, anyone who's pretty experienced on this game can just look at a player's face and know what, the, what they're like. And he is prey. Everyone fucked 
backs him up. So that's why he sits in that stupid vehicle. I honestly hate that vehicle. It's so stupid. It makes no sense. Like, that is literally basically the same as, as using God Mode. Because no matter how many rockets you shoot at it, you basically will never really blow it up. I mean, eventually, maybe, but, I mean, fuck knows how long it would take to do that. Or if you're in the position where you're to the side of them, you can shoot them through the side windows. But when are you ever going to do that? And that's pretty easy for them to, to prevent. They can just make sure to never position themselves where the side is exposed to you. They just always go at you head-on throwing sticky bombs, and the, wind, the windscreen is, like, completely bulletproof. Like, it's not like it breaks after a certain amount of bullets. Like, it's totally bulletproof. It's fucked up. All right, now we've got to text them and say lol, don't we? Oh, you can't say that. Why can't you say lol? Oh, now it'll kick me out of the game. Watch. Just watch. Watch it kick me out of the game right now. Ready? In about two seconds. Yeah, there we go. Every time. That's just what the game does now. You try and send a text, it doesn't let you, and then it kicks you with that exact message every time. It just kicks you out. Why is this game completely just broken now? Same with how your controller will just randomly disconnect. It happened last night, actually. I think it would be in that video that of that little kid raging his fucking nut off. I think it happened in that. I was, it happened last night. I was driving my car, and, my, and then it just total stopped. Like, the controller just completely disconnected, and... But it was, well, it was still on, obviously. The game just completely disconnects from the controller, so you can still go on, like, the Xbox menu and stuff, but it doesn't work in the game. So, like, it'll literally happen while you're playing now. I've never, I didn't really experience that until, like, last night. But, like, yeah, it happens all, and it happened to two of my mates last night as well. Like, while they were in the middle of fucking playing, it just stops working. you got to quit the game and load up again. And then that always happens. That never used to happen. Like, why is that? What have they done it? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that lobby was pretty shit anyway. There were those two little dickheads, but I clapped them both. But yeah, I really don't get why people play like that. It just seems so pointless to me. Like, what's the point in it? Like, I get that they are just hopeless at the game, and that no matter how hard they try to fight people, they just get clapped by everyone. Like, obviously a lot of players are like that, because there are quite a lot of people who are genuinely pretty good at the game. Like, quite a lot of people I fight are genuinely quite a bit of a challenge, so... So, you know, for someone as shit as him, he's gonna get clapped pretty fucking frequently. Like, you know that he gets clapped regularly, that's why he's he was already doing that. Because he knows that I'm a high level and that I'm gonna clap him. It's just so he can feel completely nice and safe in there. He's just a complete pussy, literally, a total puss. Just a complete coward. Like, even if I was terrible at the game and I could just never get the hang of it and could never fight people and I was just shit. Because a lot of people are like that, they just can't fight. And they're just hopeless and they'll never really be able to fight. Most people, their brain just doesn't operate quick enough and they just can't, they just can't do it. Their fingers aren't nimble enough they're just people are generally just pretty slow so a lot of people just can't fight and you know people like that just get clapped all the time but at least most people don't do that but you just get pussies like that you're just sick of it and just sits in there where he's nice and safe that way i can't kill him but and he can get kills on me so he can kill me easily he can kill me very easily he just has to chuck a sticky bomb at me it's very easy to kill him like that and it's essentially impossible for me to kill him so that's the same as when someone will be like in a jet like it's basically impossible for you to kill them and it's very easy for them to kill you and like it's not completely impossible for you to kill them obviously you could shoot a rocket and get him whatever like you could kill him but it's extremely unlikely you're gonna but, um, yeah, that's obviously why he's using that. Because, I mean, would, do you see me doing that? Would you ever see me doing that? No, because I can fuck most people up. Like, pretty much anyone... Like, pretty much anyone who attacks me, like, I'm gonna at least be a, a big challenge for them, at least. And I beat m basically everyone I fight. Pretty much anybody who attacks me and who I get in a fight with, I beat them. Apart from these absolute... The ones I've... The, the type of tryhards that, if you've been watching me for a while, you know the ones I'm on about. The, the ones at the top the top echelon of, of sweatiness um, that just sit on the game 24-7 fucking just sweating away on people. Like, yeah, they're gonna beat pretty much anyone because they just sweating away like that. But in terms of, like, normal actual fights that you just encounter on the game with just with players, I beat everyone. And most tryhards I beat as well. Ones where they kind of allow you to be able to get the chance to kill them, obviously. Not the ones that'll just teleport to their facility and sit on their bandito. Like, yeah, I can't kill them, but can anyone? It's not physically possible to, so, uh, you know, that doesn't exactly count, but 
in terms of actual proper fights where you're actually fighting, even with rockets, grenades and stuff, I still beat basically everybody I fight. So like, would you see me doing that? Driving about in that thing, feeling all nice and safe in there? Nah, because I, I don't need to do that. I wouldn't need to do that. Because I can fuck people up. Why would you Why would you sit hiding in that, looking like a pussy in that, unless you needed to? You, if you were good at the game, you wouldn't be hiding like a pussy like that. So yeah, he is obviously just one of those types of players who are just complete bollockless little pussies like that. But uh... <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's stupid trying to kill them. It's just like Tom and Jerry type shit, basically. Well, that's basically all it feels like. They're just running away in some vehicle where they're basically invincible and you can't kill them at all. And you're just sat chasing after them trying to kill them. It's, it is just pretty much a waste of time. And it's just very, very difficult to kill players like that because they just, they're so slippery. They just run away. And see how he put Ghost on the second I killed him and everything. And he was just running away, trying to run down that little alleyway. Like, he is just a total pussy. Completely and total. So that's obviously why he's just sat in that thing. It is pathetic, but I mean, if you look at how difficult that makes it to kill him, and I still beat him, like, and he was playing like that, that just shows how really awful he actually is at the game. Like, he was playing like that, playing in, in a way where it's basically, well, at least extremely difficult for me to kill him, and I still beat him and killed him more times than he killed me. So that was a total fail. Even playing like that, I still beat him. So... You know, if he gets beaten playing like that, then of course he gets beaten play playing normally, like fighting. So, that, you know, proves what I'm saying about the fact that he... Uh Oh, that actually worked, holy fuck. Yeah, because if you jump off that bridge, you die. I've jumped off this bridge a lot of times. But I mean, that is like worse than god mode griefing, honestly. If, if somebody was in a god mode van griefing, that's, I, wouldn't, I don't think that's even as bad necessarily. Because like, everyone's experienced that by now. Everyone knows what it is and no one takes it seriously. No one really gives a fuck. Like if they're in god mode, yeah, they'll shoot rockets at you a bit, try and kill you. But then after a point, when you're just constantly reversing at them, like, they can't do anything. That, and people just people just realise that quickly and they just leave. Like, that's what I do. When someone's in god mode, I just fucking leave. Because what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Fight them? Like, it's pointless. So when they're in god mode, at least it's more, like, to the point. Like, it's just a completely impossible fight. And there's obviously no point in doing it. But when they use that, it's like, that is still a vehicle that's allowed in the game. And a lot of players won't know how invincible it is. That it's just some vehicle in the game that can shit them out of it. 1.7 mil. Right, I'm going to sell that. Fuck it. I'm going to fill fucking lobby, but I'm going to give it a go. But yeah, the first time I encountered that vehicle, I didn't realise I didn't realize how invincible it was. Like, I realised at the start that the windscreen was, like, bulletproof. But I thought it would break after, like, a certain amount of bullets. Like, I don't know, a couple magazines or something like that. But it literally doesn't, it's like completely bulletproof and it just stays that way. You can only shoot them out the side and you can't blow it up, it can survive like endless rockets so there's literally nothing you can do about it. It is basically god mode. I'd say it's better than god mode because with the god mode van you can't go at them head on, you have to reverse at them and that is more difficult to do because the windscreen, like I said, the windscreen does get shot out after a certain amount of, of rounds, so so you need to constantly swing it round and reverse at them. But with that, you don't. That makes it way easier. You can just drive at them. You can just keep driving forward and just drive straight at them. It's way easier to do. And you can throw sticky bombs at them. You can't do that in the god mode van. Throwing sticky bombs is way more OP. Fucking lunatic. Absolute lunatic. Why was he driving that fucking fast? Ah, is this kid gonna kill me? Please. Ah, oh, this is bad. Look how many players are in the fucking area. I've got like two mil worth of stuff right here. Why does this, why does this have to fucking happen? Why, does the seller want his stuff or does he not want it? Why can't I just sell it to someone who'll just pay for it and take the stuff? Why do we need to do this? I just have to drive around it. Like, this is just putting me at so much risk, pointlessly. For no reason at all. Why can't the seller just tell me where the fuck he is? Fucking idiot. Okay, so at this point, my mic just completely cut out. My mic just stopped recording at this point for no fucking reason. It just completely fucked up and stopped working at this point. And I didn't even realize. Um, so it continued on for like 25 minutes more beyond this point. The mic was still recording, so I thought... Uh, so I was still talking about stuff and, and shit like that. But um, I didn't realize until the very end that it had only recorded like half of it. But at least it got all the stuff with that stupid kid in the half track, that little bollockless little eunuch who he just doesn't want to get his ass beat yet again, so sitting in that thing. That was pretty funny, at least it recorded that. That was like the main 
the main bit, I guess. Most, I mean, all that really happened after this was I just went back to my arcade. I got the 100 grand that was in the safe. And yeah, I went as an MC. And one of my mates joined the lobby, so I invited him to my MC. And then I bought supplies for all my businesses and my bunker. Apart from my meth lab, which I did a resupply mission for, just because I hadn't done a resupply mission for weeks or months, pretty much. Like, I haven't done one in ages. So I just started one of them. And it gave us the bar fight one, obviously. The most pain in the ass one. And coincidentally, the one you get most frequently. So yeah, we just did that and then I started another resupply and we just had to go out to this house in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, I was just talking about a bunch of stuff unrelated to the game. Um, I, a lot of people probably wouldn't give a fuck anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, but yeah, so after that we went back to my agency and I got the 250 grand that was in the safe. And I went on the computer and saw that, uh, and saw that agency contracts are double money. The recover valuables one was paying 109 grand, um, and one of the other ones was like 60 grand, and usually they're about 30k or 50k, whatever. And it's Thursday today, so that's obviously just changed, and those are double money for the next week. So I definitely recommend doing a bunch of them. So yeah, we did that mission, we had to go back to that bar again, kill a bunch of lost MC again. And yeah, this mission's really easy, it takes literally less than 4 or 5 minutes to do. Uh, and we got over 100k for it. So those are high paying, so do them this week. But yeah, it's a bit annoying that the mic fucked up. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe with notifications on, and have a good day.